In this video, you will learn how to use switch formula in Microsoft Excel. The switch formula in Excel is the best formula and it is available after 2016, so it may not be available in the old Excel versions. So let's understand the switch formula in a simple manner. Then you can combine the switch formula along with other formulas to get a multiple result or multiple output based on different conditions. So let's start with the switch formula equal to switch. So in this example, I have rating 1, 2, 3. So based on my ratings, I want the output. So let's say my first expression will be rating. Now if it is a rating is 1, I want the result as excellent. Similarly, if it is a 2, I want result as good. And if it is 3, the result will be bad. And close the bracket. So now you can see here, you get all the outputs. So now for example, I am changing to 5 or 6. Since I have not predefined here, you will get an error message. Now either I can length the process if I have rating 1 to 10. If that is not the case, then you can modify the formula. So in this case, you don't have to add the if error formula. The condition if the value is not fulfilled, then the default value or default output will be not a valid rating or not available anything based on your requirement. Or you can double quote without anything, so you'll get a blank. So choice is yours. So now you can see here is not available. Similarly, from number you got the text. Similarly, from text also you can get the number by just twisting the formula from here to here. So now, for example, you have different marks and it ranges from different to different. So you cannot define 1 to 100 in the formula. So now like how we can compress that formula in a simple manner. So you can do a lot of things. I am just explaining a simple formula in your understanding. So equal to switch. You have to write true. It means if the value is true or argument is true. So now let's take an example. So if this number is less than or equal to 40, then I get the output as rank C. Similarly, let's copy this so that it will be easy for me to type. If it is 80, then rank B, comma, if it is 100, then rank A or 90, or anything. So now close the bracket. So now you got the output based on the ranges. So now you can type 95 or anything. So now in this case, what will happen? So your ranges are defined and it will be no need to type multiple arguments or multiple value and expression in this formula. So thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. And please subscribe our channel for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.